goody what's goody it's your girl the best filer back again with another video this is the brighten your style beetles gel polish kit that i got from an auction here in cleveland ohio it comes with 22 polishes including a base and a top coat and of course the set starts off with a purple glitter because purple is my favorite color at least one of them anyways You'll see that I did do two coats on some of the nails. Not all of them needed it, but the glitters, I definitely did two coats so you can get the full effect. If you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe on my video. It does help it grow. I do appreciate you guys for clicking on my video in the first place. I do know that you could have clicked anyone, but the fact that you chose me does mean a lot. That is why I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a story time. And this story time is going to be the story time of how I started doing nails. So just to give a little bit of context, I've always loved nails. Watching my auntie, my sister, my cousins go to the dollar store, get the white press on nails and glue them on as if they were French tip and leave and out the door. I saw them do that. I was, I was like, sign me up. Where do I sign up? I'm ready. I want to do this. I was the more curious one out of me and my sister, so I would get punished for playing in nail polish in the house because my dad didn't like the smell of it, so we would typically have to do it outside. But me, I wanted to do it when I wanted to do it, and it just so happened to be in the house. And I had to stand in the corner. Shout out to you if you had to stand in the corner. The first time I ever saw junk nails, it was my sister's nails and she had went to a dude to get her nails done and he actually did candy encapsulations. So he had Skittles, he had Lifesavers, he had Tootsie Rolls. It was just so raw. And I was like, I love nails. Every time I would see a lady with their nails done whether it be toes or the fingers and i saw those little rhinestones i wanted to see the nails i'm the person who would be like can i see your nails can i see your nails i was always her my first time getting my nails done professionally was prom i got a set of nails that had wording on them they were short they were blue and i will insert a picture because i did find one it's not the best but I'll go ahead and insert that so you can see what they look like. And it was actually dedicated to one of my classmates who had got killed earlier on that year. Me and him were supposed to go to prom. Rest in peace to Skibby, always. So again, prom was the first time I had ever had my nails done professionally. I remember going to a home-based nail tech and me and two of my other friends got in got a full set and got out within two hours she was doing our nails from her kitchen table it was so amazing the next time i got my nails done professionally i did book a lady on style seat and she was located not too far from my house in a three-in-one so it was a barbershop salon for hair and then a nail salon they sold all types of stuff in there, hair glue, hair bonnets, everything was sold in this salon and it was, it was dope. It was a nice environment. I didn't mind it. So the sets that she did for me, I did always like the sets. However, when I would get there, she would have somebody in the chair. And then when she put me in the chair, she'd be talking all day long. Like I want to sit with my headphones on and I want to vibe out and let you do you. She would have people coming over to her station to have conversations with her. She did do her job while I had her. Unfortunately, she moved to another shop. I went to the shop one time and I just could not do it. I'm talking kids running around. We in this little old little section and the couch is very uncomfortable. It's one of those big old round couches with no back. Like You can get those couches to be cute, but don't get those couches to be like servicing your people like you got all of us sitting on this one little couch i'm sliding on to the next person it was too much then i started going to the mall to get my nails and done. of course i started to have problems thank god i didn't lose a nail or get a greenie or anything like that but my nails would always break and when they would break it would hurt 
So one day me and my brother was on the phone and we were just talking and I must have mentioned something about my nails because he mentioned to me that one of our cousins on his father's side had just got her license and was looking for clients. So I told him to hook me up. I booked through her and I loved her service. The set she did on my nails was purple. It included bling. It included see-through nails. Plus, I think it was Mylar at the time and they were so cute. You're probably like, okay, so if you had a good nail tech, why are you your own nail tech? I will answer that question for you. I am my own nail tech because I am impatient and I am a perfectionist. So what do I mean by I'm impatient and I'm a perfectionist? So originally when I booked with my brother's cousin, I booked for a full set long stiletto, if I'm not mistaken. She unfortunately does not work over other people's work, so I could not get that shape. In addition to that, when I tried to book for my follow-up appointment, she was busy and I didn't want to wait for her books to clear up to get my appointment because I needed my nails done. So because I was being impatient, I did go ahead and get on Instagram and look for a new nail tech. So I talk too much, my bad. I am going to put part two in another video. So don't forget to come back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well.